The temperature is hovering at minus six degrees, and the sun is just now rising. Emery Goulash is again in Chicago, this time at Joliet. After waiting for another train, train number six, the midnight special, provides a warm glow as it pulls into the station and then leaves shortly after. The warm glow does nothing for the early morning chill. On the CBNQ, west of Downers Grove, and at a location known as Calendar Curve, the combined trains, the Nebraska Zephyr and the Kansas City Zephyr, kick up the powdered snow. In downtown Chicago, at the south end of Union Station, Train number 31, the Great Northern Empire Builder, comes out of the station smoking up a storm. Two of the cars in the train carry the new big sky blue and glacier white paint scheme. As a Q commuter departs, other station activities are evident, such as the GMNO depot switcher and Alco RS1 switching mail and express cars. and four Union Pacific E units from the combined cities train, which recently arrived at Union Station. Next, a Pennsylvania switcher brings a few head-end cars into the station. And another Penzi switcher brings in the power set for the Broadway Limited.
the UP engines swing around the through track to gain access to the other side of the station. These engines pulled through the station with the train to accommodate a long train and escape via the passing track alongside the Chicago River. Then CB&Q's train 32, the Great Northern's Empire Builder, arrives at Union Station. <laughs> 